I have my desk ready, a cup of tea in hand, and it's time for five more questions uh, from the IPPN Principals Conference 2017. I asked uh, principals to write their questions on post-it notes and I would get to them throughout the year. So I'm just making a short video, five at a time. Um, so here's our next five. Um, the first question I have is, are iPads as educationally wonderful for kids as some people believe? So um, I think the answer really is a uh, no. Um, I think they are educationally wonderful if they're used in the right way. I think there is an over obsession with apps, which are basically packaged little things that uh, games that can, uh, that are quite closed. However, if the iPad is used well, which it can be, and I've seen uh, loads of uses of it, um, it can be exceptionally wonderful. Um, so, for example, uh, making videos and um, recording sound. Uh, making children's own books using iBook Creator, um, and uh, a couple of other uh, a couple of other um kind of uses. I I kind of think um the the, the great power of the iPad is in how you can make videos or 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 um uh, so easily and so well and they look good and they're easy to do. Uh, that's where the educational really wonderful stuff happens, not with apps in my opinion. Um. An economical antivirus solution for large school. Well, I'm a large school and we use um, on every machine um, that uh, is a Windows machine, AVG or Avast, which is free. It seems to be working OK. I think the broadband filtering uh, cuts out a lot of stuff that happens as well. So, um, you know, I wouldn't I, I don't know if there's any need for us to spend money on it. Some would disagree, but uh, I don't know. I, I haven't uh, seen the need for it yet. This one here is, what would you need to do in order to have school plans and policy acceptable to all on a computer? Um, we use Google Drive um, for all our plans and policies. We actually use Aladdin as well, I know, or um, Aladdin or something like Aladdin, a student management system. Um, and uh, that's uh, available to everyone in our system. You would need to have a school website uh, or a school domain name. So ours is cardoeducatetogether.ie. And if you have an email address at that, you have access to Google Apps for Education or G Suite for Education is known now. And uh, you can um, share them on, on, on online. Some schools use Dropbox. Um, as well which would be another way and then some people have a server but I think really that's probably over the top for something like that network network or network attached storage also is an option which is cheaper and might be useful but the thing is it can be expensive once you try and uh, access it remotely and um, there's lots of different ways but I, I would look into cloud storage so Dropbox Google Drive uh, and things like that would be probably your best bet moving around can the UK IT curriculum be adapted as an e-learning plan here <sighs> I don't know. I'm be conscious of that in the UK, uh, technology is a curriculum subject. In Ireland, it isn't for very good reason. Um, I taught in the UK for a year, and uh, it was all about IT skills uh, rather than actually using, um, you know, IT to integrate into various subjects. I know coding seems to be a big deal at the moment. Again, I'd be against that as a subject. Um, I think it'd be used to integrate into to do s other things. Uh, in, in uh, for subjects, I wouldn't personally. Um because I, uh, over here we have the right idea that ICT is supposed to integrate and help us to do uh, to perform the curriculum um, in different ways. And technology can really, um, you know, open doors in terms of um, in, 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 of collaboration, uh, communicating outside of the classroom, things like that. Um, but ultimately, I don't think we should be teaching children how to type um, in isolation or to code in isolation or do anything else in isolation in the UK curriculum. It kind of does that um so i don't know i wouldn't but um i suppose you know there's you could do it i guess um and uh, but i think you're adding a subject here already overloaded curriculum by doing that finally um can we just spend the money doing up what we have that's uh, in relation to the ict grant that we're that aren't our schools are getting over the next five years from 2017 onwards um yes is the is a quick answer i would certainly uh, probably do that in your first year and then maybe for the next four years kind of have a plan of what you want your school to look like in terms of learning what uh, and pick the tools that will help with that um i've uh, written several articles on Unshaw about um uh, with alternative plans um but also the ncte or the pdst technology and education as it's known uh, have uh, e-learning plans and ideas like that so um ask around find uh, find other people's plans and adapt them to your needs hope this helps and um we will see you for the next five post-it notes